Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Tracy and I'm back for another video. Today, I'm not going to do an unboxing. It's going to be a first impression, initial review of a bag. The bag I'm going to review today is the Coach Rider. So before we proceed with the review or the first impression, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Tracy. I do bag unboxing and uh, first impression videos and sometimes I do upload vlog videos if you happen to like my channel please consider subscribing if you have subscribed to my channel already thank you so much for your continued love and support so without further ado let's start the bag review I did an unboxing video of a I think this coach collective coach outlet collective haul a couple months ago and this is one of the bags that was on that unboxing video and since then I haven't used this bag and I have gotten a um, request to do a review of this bag so last Saturday when my daughter and I went to IKEA and coach outlet um, I decided to use this bag for me to be able to give you my initial thoughts or initial review on this bag so let's get started first off this is a retail bag this is priced at 595 US dollars but I was able to get this at the outlet website 60% uh, off uh, this bag came in with I believe two colors one this is the chalk and the other one is black I tried to order the black last month I was able to put in a card and purchase it but then it didn't ship the coach outlet did cancel my order so unfortunately I didn't get that order but yes I'm happy and lucky to be able to get this one so this is the coach rider in chalk Style number is 68540 and the size for this bag is 10 and 3 quarters in length, 7 and 3 quarters in height and 6 and a half inches in uh, width. Brass hardware. So this is the front of the bag. It looks like a box when you look at the side. So this is the side. It has a 1941 hang tag which is really nice huh? comes with a hang tag and then a clochette um, I wish this two would have like a separate d-ring on the side so that you can really showcase the beauty of these two charms so this is the back of the bag and the other side is just plain so if you are not aware with the 1941 uh, collection you wouldn't know this is a coach bag because it doesn't really say the word coach around the bag or even here it doesn't really you cannot see the logo of the coach this bag gives me a 1950s look like you know when you look at the the dresses or well during the 1950s when they attend parties they use a clutch which has a kiss lock and they wear the white gloves that that this bag gave me that five it's like classy elegant looking bag i like that this one doesn't have the coach logo on it i don't know i just i just prefer having this uh, hang tag to show this is a coach bag but other than that not nowhere else you can see like not visibly seen that it's a coach bag and then looking at this bag it looks like if I see someone wearing this one I would like glance multiple times like what is the bag she's wearing I like that one because <laughs> it looks so elegant that's my my thoughts with this bag uh, this bag came with two sh two straps one a shoulder strap with a 10 inch I think 10 and a half inch uh, drop and then a longer strap with a 22 and a half inch uh, drop the long shoulder strap has um, seven adjustments they added a contrast stitching on this bag which I really like see the golden rod contrast stitching 
it's it just I don't know I don't know how to describe how I feel with like chalk and then the contrast stitching so let's look at uh, the bottom the bottom of this bag has no feet you just have the gloved and leather um, heat stamp there so let's open this bag kiss lock opening see that <laughs> and this bag has that frame only from only the front and side has a frame and even here and it's connected with the hinge on the side so it has the hinge on the side and it can stay open it doesn't fall down there's a certain angle that it does drop but it can hold its <laughs> its opening so the inside is all over suede it has a extra pocket here a snap closure that has the coach creed but underneath it's all suede and there's an extra leather um, detail here that has 19421 so this bag is very roomy so for um, size reference I'm going to show you two items so that you have an idea how big this bag is so I have an iPad here just a nine inch one if I put it here this one this iPad has no cover but it can fit if I put it down that's what it looks like okay let's see that's what it looks like inside and also a small umbrella can fit in here I have an automatic umbrella this one can fit there you go so that's to give you an idea how big the bag is so if I wear this without anything inside this is what it looks like the bag is two pounds uh, empty yep. show the bag this bag has a tendency to mold to your body I think this leather gloved and leather will be softer later on the more you use it the more soft it gets but we'll see about this um, style because of this frame I don't know this uh, boxy style of this bag reminds me of the Givenchy Pandora I think that's a yeah Givenchy Pandora I think the Givenchy one is a zipper opening not a kiss lock but yeah it's like looking this way and the opening is I think that's what the Jabonji Pandora looks like but yes so let's uh, see what can fit in this bag I have here a, a cloth a reusable bag from Uniqlo put it here and then I have a makeup pouch my catch-all pouch I have a wallet a Michael Kors wallet you don't need to have an organizer because it just lay side by side with each other and I have a Hello Kitty pouch with my antibacterial wipes I have a battery pack you can stick in here there you go I have a hand cream you can put it there you see I have more room my eyeglasses it there and I can still put my phone I think I can still put my umbrella in there but I would not because it's going to be too heavy and lastly a hand sanitizer so that's what it looks like inside <laughs> so that's what it looks like inside so let's try it on this is heavy this is roughly the items I put in inside is around three pounds so right now this whole bag weighs five pounds I did weigh it earlier just to have an idea how much does it weigh because when I was wearing this towards the end of the day I felt the the weight of this bag so this is what it looks like when it's full it's blending on the 
bed sheet. So this is what it looks like when it's full. I still like it. There you go. And then bury it as a shoulder bag. And a cross body bag. That's what it looks like. And there you go. So things that I don't like about this bag. Few. A few things. Um, when this is, even if it's empty or it don't put a lot inside. The, this part um, can you see it's kinked or cinched in because I'll show you why so the frame of the bag so this part is the metal frame and it doesn't have a frame here um, the thing that's holding the strap the shoulder strap is this leather here this is a leather piece which has an opening on this side that has your d-ring for the shoulder strap so there's no nothing like solid holding the shoulder strap so when you wear it the leather folds in and it kinks the leather so that's my concern about this bag. I feel like as I use this regularly, the wear, this part will be worn out easily, this part of the bag. I wish they could have made the frame as a whole uh, so that it can ho have more, it can, how do you say, securely hold the shoulder strap more. And also another thing I don't like about this bag is this part is sticking out like poking when I holding it I like I'm carrying it wearing it it and it's when it's heavy when it moves it punches kind of hurt my arm here yeah like when you're trying to get something and then it slides yeah it hits it can be it can hurt you yes and also sometimes this shoulder strap slides and we were out trying to move around doing some shopping I have to fix this most of the time because it slides then later on I have to wear it uh, cross body so I have more freedom with my arms just like that yeah and also lastly is the the I wish they have a D-ring on for the clochette and the hang tag so that it can really like show your hang tag and like here if you put the two shoulder straps and sometimes it feels like it's it gets in the way it doesn't really showcase the beauty of this charm but other than that I like this bag i like the color i like the contrast um color of the chalk and the golden rod i like the the look of this bag the especially the kiss lock i don't know i really like this bag if not with those issues this would be a perfect bag for me for question for color transfer i cannot really tell when i wear this when I wore this last time, I wear a, a nylon jacket, like a, a water-resistant jacket, so so that I don't need to worry about the tra color transfer. Um, but let's see in the future if I wear it. I'll give you an update if something happens uh, with this bag. But yes, that's my initial thoughts, my first my initial review, first impression about this bag um, if you have a rider bag please uh, share why you like it and why you don't like your rider uh, please write it on the comment down below I would love to hear 
your thoughts about your writer bags so that's it for our bag review today if you happen to like my video please give it a thumbs up and please share your love and support by subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell button so you get notified every time i upload a new video so until next time thank you for watching bye